Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. What kind of programs does this school have? How are the test scores? How many kids to a classroom? Homes.com knows that these are all the things that you ask when you're home shopping as a parent. That's why each listing on Homes.com includes extensive reports on local schools, including photos, parent reviews, test scores, student-teacher ratio, school rankings, and more. The information is from multiple trusted sources and curated by Homes.com's dedicated in-house research team. It's all so you can make the right decision for your family. Homes.com. We've done your homework. Summer is upon us, and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw-crafted bags, I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to The Fit Thing. I'm Amy. And I'm Kat. And Kat sent me a TikTok the other day of this woman saying why she likes to keep her gas tank on E. Now, it's not really why, but I thought, you know, her reasoning is potentially valid. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. And I was at a red light the other day and looked down and my car went to please refuel. I just, you know, when it flips over, which my car goes from being on E to then please refuel to then refuel immediately. (laughs) And that's when I know to take her seriously. Does it say how many miles you have to drive? No. Okay. Just a, it's a game. It's yeah. a guessing game, which means if I've got someone in the back that's like, just drive, which I'll, I'm going to play the clip so y'all know what that means. I'll be like, it's I unknown. It, it just says we, we need to go to a gas station right now. So then I decided to make one of those. I'd never done a little mashup video where you do yourself and then someone else's thing from TikTok. What's that called? I don't know. Oh, well, it's called a duet. If a duet. You, it, I think that's if you do it side by side. Okay. Where you're both on the screen at the same stitch. time. It's called a stitch. Oh, I did a stitch. Okay. Okay. We know what we're you're talking so cool. about. You're so cool. Very cool. <laughs> so I did my first stitch and I put it up on my Instagram. It's at Radio Me. You can see it. Most of my friends, when there's any sort of gas on E situation, they think of me. <laughs> what kind of person are you? No, I, one time in my life, I think I have gone past the. I get the ding and it shows a light. And then if you go too far, that light turns red instead of orange. And I've only had the red one time. And I was having a panic attack in my car. I will never be that person. And if I was in your car and your car said refuel immediately, I would be sweating. See, I've run out of gas before. You never have? No. What did you do? I I don't know. I know I was 16. And I just ran out. <laughs> like as you're on the interstate, you just like stop? No, I was in my neighborhood going up a hill, but I was a mile from my house because it took me about a mile to get out of my neighborhood. And <laughs> I was just about to make it onto the highway because right when you leave my neighborhood, I was getting on I-35. Thank goodness I I ran out going up a hill. And then I had to, I had no cell phone. This was 1997 or something. So what did you do? Somebody drove by and then they were like, oh, I'm right down here. They went to their house, helped me call my my parents. I don't know if I called my mom or my dad. My dad didn't live with me. I was at my mom's house, but still, he probably is the one that came to save the day. So somebody, a random person just stopped to Not help random. you. random. It was my neighborhood. Oh, I lived there okay. my whole life. Okay. A lot of people knew everybody, but it, yeah. it felt like a safe time in which I could go into a neighbor's home a mile away and use their phone. Maybe not anymore. And not get locked in the basement. <laughs> forever. I've never run out of gas. I've run out of oil. Oh. Your car also stops when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've never run out of oil. Okay. Let me play the the, the clip that I put up that has the, the funny little, hey, it could save your life though. It's funny, but also serious. And then after that, Kat has our quote for the day. 
Here's the clip. Right now, this is what my car says. But then I remember this one. I keep my gas tank on E. You know why? Because if somebody's sitting in the back seat when I get in here with that thing to my head and they talking about just drop, where are we going besides to the gas station for me to run? Who's with us? <laughs> just drive. <laughs> Just drive. That's my favorite part. Can that just be the quote? <laughs> She's like, and they're in the back, and they're putting that thing to my head, and they're like, just drive. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm going to have to go to the gas station where I can run. I probably shouldn't have sent that to you because I feel like it's going to encourage your trait. Yeah, because what if? I'd be like, hey, you got in the wrong car, buddy. You need to go get, I don't know where you're trying to go. This one has to go to the gas station. They probably would just leave. They'd be like, okay, I'm going to a different car. Which exactly. also would save your life. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to start having no gas in my car. <laughs> okay, 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 the quote. Okay, so today's quote comes from this account that I follow that I actually really do like. I was mentioning, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago that I feel like I don't follow a lot of people other than my friends. This guy posts a lot of good stuff. Case.Kenny. Case with a C or a K? Case is with a C, Kenny with a K. Oh. So he's got both. Guess what? I get to inter uh, introduce, interview Kenny Chesney next week. What? Mm -hmm. Have you done that before? Well, I don't know that he's ever been on the show. I mean, I've been at things around him, near him. Maybe he came on the Bobby Run Show years ago, but Bobby can't do it. So anyway, to people that are listening, that may not be that big of a deal, but I am excited yeah. about it just because he's been, his music has been a part of my life since the 90s or for you know, years and years and years. And normally the bigger stars like that Bobby is present I, I am there and I get to be a part of the interview but I'm not solo uh, who's your dream interview country artist not alone like alone George Just you and him. but you've interviewed him haven't you but everybody else is in the room oh he surprised me one time I don't want to take away from the uh, quote case dot Kenny, okay. case with a C with Kenny with a K. Okay. But I just, it, I, something that, you know, celebrating all the little things in life, I'm trying to do that. So okay. I'm celebrating that I get to do that. Okay. And well, then after you do the quote, you should share something you're celebrating. Okay. I'd love to hear it. I have to think about what that's going to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the quote is, what he does is he posts like a carousel of a bunch of quotes at once and you get to pick which one fits best for you. This is the one I like the best from this carousel. He said, the most powerful person is someone who decides their self-worth is not a group decision. Oh, okay. So we don't, I want you as the therapist here with all the letters behind their name to break that one down. But I assume it's that a lot of times we can rely on others to define our self-worth mm -hmm. and that would be the group that we don't need yeah. to worry about. Yeah, look how smart you are. Thanks. You didn't have to get a bunch of letters to do that. Well, you know, as a person whose love language is words of affirmation, I have mm -hmm. spent many of years looking for my self-worth yeah. and validation from what others would tell me. Yeah. And now you don't have to do that anymore. Well, yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. It, yeah. It, you know. Well, I just up. liked it because, because of what you just said. We all the time, myself included, will look for whether it's words or some kind of sign from somebody else that I'm doing a good job, that I'm worthy, that people want me around versus I get to just m make a decision for myself that I have value and worth and I'm good enough and all the things. I think we become, exactly how that quote said, we become very powerful when we are not waiting on somebody else to validate us before we are, allow ourselves to do something we want to do mm -hmm. or believe something we want to believe. Yeah, I feel like I talked about this recently somewhere I had this aha moment, as Oprah would call it, or epiphany, whatever. Did Oprah come up with that? Aha? Uh -huh. Yeah. I feel like she is the aha. Uh -huh. I don't think she Are you would. sure? I, so I know it. Aha uh -huh moment. Aha. Uh -huh. But that. But I, <laughs> my aha moment. Look, okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to Google gonna it. look that up. Who, I don't think Oprah coined that. Who came up with aha uh -huh moments? <laughs> Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back to the 1930s. But this, <laughs> this, this, this article is from OprahDaily.com. Okay. The New York Times took a closer look at the phrase's or origins when Oprah used it, pointing out that the Oxford English Dictionary traces an early German who used the phrase Aha Erlebnis in 1908. <laughs> and English uses... Uh, has English people used it in the 1930s. However, this context directly quotes the meaning as a moment of insight. Okay, 
listen, my version Oprah came up is with. Oprah. Others may call it a Eureka. Is Eureka, that the na- name? Eureka, Eureka effect. I know that word, but I don't know why I can't say it. It's Eureka? also known as an aha moment. Mm-hmm. Er, e. <laughs> why can't you say e, it? E with an E. <laughs> U with a U. Okay. I can't say it because it's E U R. E-K-A, and I have trouble with R's and W's and U's, and especially when they're together. Eureka? There Eureka. You, you did. Oh, Eureka. I know, you're, I know what you're saying. <laughs> now all I have in my head is Ricola. But anyway. <laughs> so Oprah coined it. Carry on. Wherever it came from. I know it from Oprah. <laughs> but apparently some German in like 1908. My aha moment was that my validation sometimes would be coming from someone that I don't know that I necessarily even trust, but yet Mm. things they would say to me had so much weight. Other things I wouldn't know if the truth was even being said. So if I don't know if the truth is even being said, then why would I care what was being said to me? Because it's probably not even the truth, but then I'm giving it all of this value. Mm -hmm. That was my eureka moment. Did you have that epiphany during like a therapy session or something? Or is this over time you figure that out? It was about a year ago. Okay. It, something just clicked. Yeah. I think probably I could have figured that out all along. Yeah. But it was like, it was what that moment is. It's a moment of insight. It's mm-hmm. been in front of your face for a while. And then it's just like, mm-hmm. aha. So after you are no longer looking for this person that you don't even trust to validate you. It helps you. so much. It so helps then who so do you much. look to? Now, it comes from within, Kat. Yeah. It is not a, <laughs> like. <laughs> so why? M- m- my friend, Case with a C and <laughs> Kenny, and Kenny with, with a K. K. <laughs> Case dot Kenny, you say? Uh-huh. Okay, because I want to go start following his account. That's why I was saying it again. But um, he once said it's not a group decision. Mm. He did. Yeah. Said it recently, actually. All right, you gotta love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. Top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Something that I've learned in therapy is that goals are really important. Like, it can really help you out. Like, when life is going so fast, it's important to take a moment to celebrate how far you've come, celebrate those wins, but also look forward to where you're going make adjustments for the rest of the year. And therapy can help you take stock of your progress and set achievable goals for the next three months, the next six months. I have personally benefited from therapy in so many ways. I feel like we'd be here all day if I were to tell you all of the ways therapy has helped me out, giving me tools to have my back pocket for when we need to bust them out, coping skills, how to set boundaries. I feel so much more empowered uh, because of therapy. So I'm very thankful for it. If you're thinking of starting therapy, well, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Take a moment, visit betterhelp.com slash four things today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash four things. Again, you're going to get 10% off your first month. This Father's Day, shop at the Home Depot to find the perfect gift to help dad be everything he can be. Because your dad is more than just a dad. He's groundskeeper of the yard, the perfecter of the patio, and the cleaner of the clippings. He's the weed-fighting, hedge-trimming, leaf-blowing lord of the lawn. 
He sees the job and he gets it done because your dad is a doer. So show him you appreciate everything he does with the tools he needs to power up his landscaping game. This Father's Day, give him the convenience and gas-like power of innovative and durable Milwaukee cordless outdoor tools from the Home Depot. Plus, get up to $150 off select Milwaukee tools. For everything Dad does, everything he is, and everything he can be, find the perfect Father's Day gift at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Shop for Father's Day now in stores or online at homedepot.com. So something that I saw that makes people instantly happier or people that are just happier in general, like this population of people are happier, Mm -hmm. are people who put up Christmas decorations early. Are you one of those people? I don't know that I do it early, but I'm going to do it earlier than usual this year just for the so you can be sheer happy. happiness. I, I am happy, mm-hmm. but I want to be happier and I want that feeling. I want Hallmark Christmas movies, which are now on every platform now. Mm-hmm. Hallmark really- Is yours though? Scored it. Mine is on HBO Max. Okay. Holiday Harmony, if you want to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I got a residuals check in the mail the other day. Wow. $69.87. Wow. Yeah. So you're going to continue to make money off of that for the rest of your life? Can't wait to see what happens this holiday season. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if it's the rest of my life or... Yeah, how long does it last? I, I got a previous residuals check that was much higher. It, In fact, so much so, I mean, it was like in the hundreds. And I was so unexpected, but it was for a foreign screening. So it must have gone worldwide. <gasps> you are a world I don't know. Wide well, the movie, movie is, star. I don't know if they dub over. I, I needed to see. Like, did they did they show it in English or did they have voiceover stuff? But my point is my first residuals check was high for the foreign screeners. And hey, I'll take 6987 or whatever it is yeah. any day. M- money's money. But when I saw another check in my mailbox at work, which I rarely check, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm about to have another, whatever, four or $500. Like, this is going to be amazing. And then mm-hmm. I opened it up and it was 69 oh, right. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it and I'll go buy some Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations for my Christmassy home. I have started building fires, which feels Christmassy to me, holiday mm-hmm. vibes. I'm already out of firewood. That's how much I've enjoyed wow. them. I can't, I just keep wanting to put another log on and another one and another one. <laughs> It's so pretty to me. Yeah. That makes me happy. Which, speaking of, we need to get back to your, what's a little thing in life that you're celebrating? Like, what's something that's happened to you or that you get to do that you're either excited about or, you know, celebrating like, hey, I'm going to pay attention to this. This is cool. I don't know. The only thing that I keep thinking about is my new hair weave that I figured out how to put in on my own, which I think I mentioned a while ago that I was going to get one of the halos on here. I think we talked about it. We did. And it came in, but my hairstylist is on maternity leave. So she couldn't teach me how to do it. She dropped it off to me as she's walking into a doctor's appointment for as she's probably about to give birth. So I had to figure out my own. Did you watch YouTube? YouTube. I read some articles. It took like an hour for me to like put it in, take it out, figure out how it fits. I went and stood in the wind for a little bit to see if it would fly away. (laughs) It looks so good. I think it looks real, but I don't know if I'm like willing that. No, it looks real. Because it's not too long. No, I would not think for a second you had a halo in at all. So that's what I'm celebrating. (laughs) I think that's great. You're celebrating the halo. Yeah. And you also, I mean, you got it for your upcoming wedding, but now you have it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in your closet for whenever you want to put her on. And I would like to name her. (laughs) Well, my sister-in-law, when I sent them a picture of it, I was like, I got to weave. She said, you should put that under Patrick's pillow and just like see what he does when he like notices they're just like hair coming out of his <laughs> pillow. <laughs> Stashira, oh. my daughter has wigs. Now a halo is very different than a full-blown wig, but she has some of those head mannequins and they sit in her closet and then the, the wigs go. So then it go, sits, right. So that it keeps it pretty. I was going to actually, that was my next thing is how do I care for it? Her, I don't want to just put it back her, into the box. How do you care for her? I'm sorry. She's she is real. She I is real. You, I think you put her in a bag and you hang her. Okay. In your closet. Okay. <laughs> name her right now. I, oh, I don't know. What does she remind you of? Like a person's name or like a pet name? Luscious Lucy. 
What is luscious actually? Luscious? Mean? Luscious. Makes me think of like juicy. Oh. Like, is okay. that right? That's not going to work. I was thinking full. Oh. Uh, full, luscious. I like healthy. the name Lucy though. Sure. Okay, Lucy. That's it. Okay. We named Cat's hair. It's okay. Lucy. And I guess look into a halo if you're, because yeah. that is a more cost if oh, yeah. you are looking into adding hair in any way, shape, or form. The halo is the more cost effective way. Oh, yes. And you can have it, I think, at least nine months versus extensions. I, I assume you have to get them done before nine months. There, there are cons. There you go. Our, and our challenge now to everyone listening would be to find a little thing you can celebrate or that you're excited about. No, no matter, I think we need to pra start practicing the smaller yeah. things. They don't have to be these big things that would be right in front of your face. It's just like, look at your calendar. What's coming up at work? Yeah. Look at your closet. Or did you get a new ex exciting outfit? Like your white pants from your wedding party. Did you ever link those? Yes. Oh, and I missed somebody it. at the wedding that I was at last night told me, hey, I bought those white pants you linked. Can said, you link them I again? Guess. Or can you, do you have them in a highlight? They're on my like Amazon shop page. So if you go to the link in my bio and you just go to my shop page, but I can link them again. I'll link them as many times as I need to. They were incredible. Cat dot defada. Cat with a K. Mm -hmm. Defada with, with a D. D. <laughs> Cat dot defada, which your Instagram handles in the show notes too. But back to the Christmas thing, according to psychologists, filling our homes with Christmas decorations earlier makes us feel happy. It just gets us in touch with the inner child in our hearts. I guess if that's if you have a good experience with holidays as a child, mm -hmm. reminding us of the delightful time when we were still carefree and stress-free from the responsibilities of adulting. Like I have to get a new HVAC. I, I you don't know want what? to do that. I went to get my oil changed yesterday and apparently the last person that changed my filters broke the filter and just crammed the top back on it. So I have to get that fixed. Yeah. So we... Uh, we need to probably put up our tree. <laughs> like right yeah, now. we should. Which I want to do it next weekend. We both can. <laughs> yeah. I want to squeeze in one email real quick before we go from a mom. She wanted to remain anonymous. So she's the anti-diet mama. I won't read the entire email just to help keep her anonymous. Let's just touch on when lighthearted comments are made about food and body in family settings and you don't know how to respond. This particular emailer has a young daughter Mm -hmm. And she was feeding her food and family members, like, you know, grandparents, older generations, it, who knows, maybe it could even be younger in certain family circumstances. But, you know, when the comments are made of like, ooh, you're such a big girl or, ooh, you're going to have to go on a diet tomorrow with all that food. It's not meant to be harmful, but still then the children are hearing it. Yeah. Are you asking what I would do? As the person, person with the letters. With the letters behind their name, yes. So what... I find to be the most helpful because you can't change everybody and you don't want to constantly feel like you have to like correct people or have these conversations over and over and over again. And some people just won't get it. So when you can have a conversation with somebody about what they're saying, that is helpful. But if, if it feels like you're doing it over and over again, or if it feels like it's not an appropriate time or a safe time to do that, what I think is more beneficial, even if you have those conversations is you making sure that you're having conversations with your daughter or your friend or whoever that speaks truth back into them. Because when they go to school or any other places, they're going to hear diet culture. It's going to be everywhere. So making sure that your kids, and I know when they're younger, sometimes they can't talk and they don't have the words for this. But when they're exposed to that kind of conversation, you can come back to them and say, okay, you heard this. Let's talk about what is true. You heard this. Let's talk about what's not okay about that. So they're getting that information from you, a safe person that can combat all of the noise that they're going to continue to hear. We all hear it all the time. Right. And then I guess just making sure that your child is age appropriate to even understand that yeah. type of conversation. And then I think too, hearing things one time can certainly be damaging, but then if those certain people aren't around all the time, you have a chance mm -hmm. to say other things that are going to be, when we talk about, you know, yeah. building a, a thought pattern, if they're hearing your thoughts about things way more, it's going to hopefully yeah. take precedence over what is out in the world. Right. Yeah. 
Okay, we hope y'all are having the day that you need to have. Check out Kat's podcast. It's called You Need Therapy. You can also send her emails, youneedtherapypodcast.com. And you can hit us up for the fifth thing, four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com. I'm at Radio Amy. And Kat and I both hope you're having the day you need to have. Boom. Bye. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. This is Malcolm Gladwell from Revisionist History. eBay Motors is here for the ride. With some elbow grease, fresh installs, and a whole lot of love, you transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive that's all your own. Brake kits, LED headlights, whatever you need, eBay Motors has it. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride the first time, every time, or your money back. Plus, at these prices, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you. And how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com.